Welcome back to the Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. We continue our conversation now with Mike Przicki, who is the Democratic nominee for mayor of Wilmington and the, he, I can say it, he can't, the likely next mayor of Wilmington. We, we had left off, I still want to get into the issues, but we had left off talking about how important it is to bond relationships to be a mayor. And you had a nice anecdote that you shared during yeah, the break. Uh, so I've been meeting with uh, uh, a number of the folks that I, uh, I, who are my competitors in the race, and yesterday Kevin Kelly and I had lunch together and we talked about a lot of things. Kevin knows more about the city, honestly, than I'll, I'll ever know. He's really, uh, he's got a depth of knowledge. So we sat and shared everything, and when we stood up, we shook hands, and we had a, uh, a little bit of an embrace, and some, a woman who was uh, uh, dining next door to us jumped up and ran over and said, it is the greatest thing in the world to watch you two guys getting along and obviously working for our city. We're so excited for the future. So I think that's, I think if that if that captures the essence of uh, of how we all feel about each other, I think that's a good thing. It's important that you start thinking about the people that you want around you and, and forming these relationships. Have you started deciding yet on jobs and who's going to stay and who's not going to stay? Well, what we're doing now is, uh, you know, we're we're trying to understand the best we can the the inner workings of the city and what positions are important given uh, what might be a new construct. We might look at things and have a different approach to how we, uh, we operate the city. I don't, I can't tell you that I've been thinking about who stays and who goes. That's just, it's too early for that. But obviously we're contacted by a lot of people. We've got people who are interested in joining the administration. Uh, I would like to attract uh, people who look at this like their Peace Corps, you know, people who are highly qualified doing some other things and come back because they want to, uh, they want to a chance to give something back to their community and that working with the city might be a great way to do it if they come in for a year or two, people with some unusual expertise that we can take advantage of. But it's important what you just said. So what you're saying is it is important to bring in people that you trust, that it's important to pe bring in a new team, and that anybody who gets replaced, that's not necessarily a failure on their part. What you're failure. saying is no, you no. just want your own people. No, it's got nothing to do with that. I think that, uh, and sometimes, and sometimes new is good. I mean, new signals a, a whole new approach. So it's, uh, it's sometimes it's difficult to have somebody who's been around for eight years or, or God only knows how much time and say, now we're gonna, we're gonna come in and bring something brand new after that individual might have been uh, at the top of doing something very different for four years. And so it just seems to me that uh, you try to assemble your own team and that's got nothing to do with the qualities of the people who who are in those positions today. And uh, some may stay and, and a good many may go, just not sure yet. As important as all the issues that I wanna get into are, it seems like an attitude's important. It, it, it seemed to me that the last administration, <clears throat> and I know you don't wanna talk negatively about them, but I think it's been well documented in, in, in editorials that they believed they were arrogant and that they mm. weren't communicative and they didn't reach out enough. Some uh, people called me arrogant too. I would imagine, oh, really? <laughs> that did happen. <laughs> so maybe there won't be a change. Uh, uh, but do you feel there's, that you need to uh, show that there's a new attitude when so you go I think, in? So I, I think this, when I go, if you go down, if you go down to the riverfront, you see the people who work down there, uh, I know almost everyone down there on a first name basis. There are not 1,100 of them to be sure, but I've always been, uh, I've always been uh, someone who thinks that the, uh, you know, maybe the generals eat last. You know that uh, I'm, I try to be, uh, I try to treat everybody the same, and I know I treat everybody with dignity. So, uh, I hope I hope that 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 gets across to all the people who uh, work in the city as well. And I want to be mindful of their needs, and I want them to be mindful of my uh, my requirements. As and important so, as an attitude is. Yeah. Also, public relations is important. Wilmington has has a bad image across the country. Yeah, well, I think those there are really two different subjects. Uh, you know, I think of one very being very internal and how you treat people. I think is extremely important. And by the way, I think how you treat people changes how people perform every day. And so I think that gets off to your second question. I think you know uh, if morale is really poor, and I think in in a lot of cases morale has been poor. It affects performance, which affects. Uh, which affects some of the problems that uh, arise with our reputation. I mean, that's what I think is... Uh, I think the all, number one problem with the reputation right now is, is the crime rate. Sure it is. And, and so I, I want to talk more about that when the Delaware Way continues as we continue our conversation with Mike Perzicki, the Democratic nominee for mayor of Wilmington.